After six months of deployment under NATO's Enhanced Forward Presence EFP, in Lithuania, the 131st Artillery Battalion of the Czech Army has concluded its mission with great satisfaction. This marks the first time since World War II that the unit deployed its heavy equipment, including the self-propelled 152mm VZ-77 Dana howitzers, leaving a significant impression on their allies. The deployment also showcased the capabilities of the new MKPP Titus vehicles, which played a crucial role in the mission. Sergeant Alesh Studecki of the 13th Artillery Regiment explained, With these vehicles, we were able to fire on targets within the data network, significantly accelerating our operations. The third task force of the Czech Army, meticulously prepared over a year, was tasked with providing fire support to allies in Lithuania. We were all thrilled to deploy our equipment abroad, demonstrating the skills we've honed over the years. We looked forward to working in an international setting, collaborating with foreign partners, and adapting to shooting in completely different conditions, said Master Sergeant Philip Baranek. Corporal Tomas Cerny, a Dana Howitzer driver, noted the differences in terrain and environment during their deployment. Lithuania is flat and sandy, which took some getting used to since we usually train on hilly, firm ground at home. Sand causes easier bogging, but it gave us plenty of practice in self-recovery, he recalled. Camouflaging the howitzers in sandy and coniferous environments was also a new challenge. Maintenance personnel were also well prepared, bringing spare parts to Lithuania. We had to be ready for potential repairs throughout the deployment. While the issues were similar to those we encountered during exercises at home, the weather was different. We arrived in January and faced extreme cold, requiring us to adjust our work. Fortunately, there were minimal breakdowns, said Corporal Daniel Marin, an ordnance master in the repair squad. Despite having only basic knowledge of foreign equipment, Czech soldiers and their international counterparts cooperated effectively, we assisted each other with minor repairs and spare parts, despite not being familiar with each other's equipment. Communication and willingness to help were excellent, Marin added. The 13th Artillery Regiment also brought their newest vehicles to Lithuania, the Titus Fire Support Coordination Vehicles, introduced to the Army in late 2023. We had to configure them and train the crew before deployment. The vehicles performed exceptionally well, allowing us to fire on targets within the data network, which greatly facilitated and sped up our work, described Sergeant Studecki, a junior staff member in the Communication and Information Systems team. According to Studecki, Titus vehicles are highly adaptable to the needs of the Czech Army and international standards. Other countries often envied our equipment, he noted. The Dana, Delo Automobilny Nabijin Automatiki, is a self-propelled artillery system designed and manufactured in the Czech Republic. Its primary armament is a powerful 152mm cannon, supplemented by a 12.7mm anti-aircraft machine gun for defense against aerial threats. This vehicle is employed by the armed forces of the Czech Republic, Libya, Poland, Slovakia, and Ukraine, demonstrating its broad utility and reliability across various military operations. The Dana is equipped with advanced combat systems, including an indirect fire control system and night vision capabilities, as well as a nuclear, biological, and chemical NBC, protection system, ensuring its operational effectiveness in diverse and challenging environments. With a crew of five, the Dana is built to provide significant firepower while maintaining crew safety. Its armor offers protection against small arms fire and artillery shell splinters, enhancing survivability on the battlefield. Weighing 25,100 kg, the vehicle can achieve speeds of up to 80 km per hour on roads and has a considerable operational range of 750 km, allowing for rapid deployment and sustained operations. Its dimensions, measuring 11.15 meters in length, 3.0 meters in width, and 2.85 meters in height, enable it to navigate a variety of terrains while delivering its formidable artillery capabilities. The Titus is a versatile armored personnel carrier, APC, developed by Nexter Systems of France and utilized by the Czech Republic. It boasts a range of armaments in its APC configuration, including a 20mm automatic cannon, a 7.62mm coaxial machine gun, and two 5.56mm machine guns, providing substantial firepower to support infantry operations. The vehicle's design incorporates modular armor protection, with standard level 1 protection at the front and level 2 for the crew compartment, which can be upgraded with add-on armor to level 3 and enhanced to withstand level 4 a slash 4 b mines and IED blasts, ensuring the safety of its occupants in hostile environments. 
with a weight of 27,000 kilograms, the Titus can reach impressive speeds of up to 110 kilometers per hour, offering both protection and mobility. It has an operational range of 700 kilometers, making it suitable for extended missions. The vehicle is equipped with essential battlefield accessories, including an NBC protection system and a comprehensive battlefield management system, as well as four cameras to enhance situational awareness. The Titus can carry a crew of 3 plus 12 soldiers, providing substantial troop transport capacity. Its dimensions are 7.55 meters in length, 2.55 meters in width, and 2.73 meters in height, allowing it to maneuver effectively in a variety of combat scenarios. Major Yarmer Evan, commander of the 3rd Task Force, positively assessed their six-month mission in the Baltics, where the 132nd Artillery Regiment is currently serving. This deployment demonstrated that even with older equipment, we can complete all tasks and be a reliable partner in an international setting, Major Evan concluded. In summary, the successful deployment of the 131st Artillery Battalion in Lithuania underscores the capabilities of the Czech Army's artillery units and their ability to operate effectively in diverse environments and international contexts. The mission's success also highlights the importance of modernizing military equipment and the significant role played by new technologies like the Titus vehicles in enhancing operational efficiency and coordination.